So I've gone ahead and jumped ahead a little bit, if you want, you know, follow along in your book. Uh, but I've added in a few more records. Now, one thing I do want to specify, at least uh, when we're dealing with these things, is <clears throat> we have to make sure that uh, our visit IDs are all unique. Say, for example, this last one, uh, 1560. Say, for example, I had made it, a little typo, I had said uh, 1564. 1564. I've already got a 1564 in here, oh, and inside of Excel, it uh, didn't matter. As soon as I try and hit enter, and I move through this, you see what happens? I get a little error. Now, we have to read error messages because they tell us what's wrong. Again, the changes you requested to the table were not successful because they would create duplicate values in the index primary key or relationship. I don't know what any of those words mean. We will in a second. Uh, change the data in the fields that contain duplicate data, remove the index, or redefine the index to permit duplicate entries, uh, and try again. So it's not going to let me. I can't save this. I can't, I can't move out of here. I can't do anything. Like, I'm stuck. You see, I'm stuck now. And it's all because this guy is a duplicate value. Again, every visit ID is unique. That would be like your social security number being the same as somebody else's social security number. You don't want your, you know, credit to go down because someone else is taking out ludicrous amounts of loans because, well, they know your social, well, they have the same social as you. The same concept is coming in here. Because I have one here, again, I can't even change it. I've already committed to that one. Because I've made the change here, I have to do it. Now, in our case, I can either hit escape or I backspace 0, 1560 again. And now, because it's a unique value, there are no 1560s here, I can click out of it. There we are. Now, Again, I clearly don't want to type all of these things, so what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and import them from another database. That Cindy uh, database that if you've downloaded the textbook files you have access to. And if I open it up, it looks like this. This is what I'm going to see. Again, notice how I don't get a lot of stuff. And, oh, this warning, security warning. You're sending me hacking viruses and all that, Mr. Goina. No, I'm not. This is access being a little cautious. Because we're dealing with really uh, a lot of data, a lot of sensitive data, it's being a little bit of kind of that that big brother, hey, you know, you're dealing with some complex stuff here. I just want to make sure you know what you're doing before you actually do it. It's going to do that a lot, you're going to notice. So we do actually have to say enable content. Then, again, we have to open up that appointment table by double-clicking on it. And you can see it's already got a bunch of them for us. Now, I want to go ahead and take all of these, and I want to bring them into my database. The quickest way I can do this is actually by clicking on that little square right beside visit ID and bringing it all the way down. Now, what this allows me to do is copy. And then if I come over to my database and I click on that little star, notice what happens to the paste option. Oh, paste just became active. So that means if I clearly click on it, Again, I told you that access is going to be very big brothery. It's going to make sure that everything you do, it's very explicit, and it wants to make sure you mean it. So as you can see, are you sure you want to paste these records? Because once you do, you know, they're committed. And if you have other back-end stuff working on that, well, you know, 76 records just kicked in. So again, because we're doing it, I do want to do that. I want to go ahead and say yes. And for my sake, I can go ahead and close out of Cindy. Again, Access wants to very abruptly make sure that you are doing everything that you want to do. So you just copied a large amount of data. We did, 76 records. That's a large amount of data in Access terms. Uh, do we want to keep that in the clipboard or not? Well. Do you want to save this data to the clipboard? In this case, we actually we don't care about it. We've already pasted it, so we're going to go ahead and say no. Uh, 